I met Marek Schimmick uh, several times in the earlier uh, uh, international conferences, Fichte conferences, in, like in Jena and uh, uh, Schutforte and Berlin, and also uh, at the conference to the 80, 80th birthday of Reinhard Laut. And from the beginning, I was impressed by his kind uh, of philosophizing. He was a very strong philosopher and a very straight philosopher. But in the pauses and after the, after the conferences, he, he was like everybody, neighbor, if, if he has been your neighbor since 20 years. So that was a difference I, I, I never met before, uh, a human being that is a very strong philosopher and a quite normal man in all day life. And I couldn't put that together until I have uh, some discussions with him about the idea of philosophy. And he told me that his idea of philosophy is to combine a, a, a real good philosophy with a real good life. And that philosophy is not the same as life, but sh should make a real understanding and picture of a real good life. And he was a a very good example for both, for good philosophy and I think also for a good life. He was so private in the conference uh, when, it, when the, the conference is finished or when the, when the speeches are finished in the pauses and so he's, he suddenly turned to be hello and he said, of course, he smoked his cigarettes <laughs> after that and uh, drank some wine and he was so, uh, some, sometimes philosophers are, are more stiff like so uh, all the, the whole conference, uh, they are very stiff and after that also. But when you meet him in the conference, he's very straight philosophy. And after the conference, he was quite a normal man. And that was uh, amazing to see that uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, of a good example how to live good and to make good philosophy. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, very easy to understand what Fichte wants uh, with uh, Marek Schemek's uh, difference between the epistemic uh, viewpoint and the epistemological viewpoint. In normal life, uh, we all have an epistemic viewpoint. We look at a tree and say, this is a tree and this is an object for our thinking and we think about the tree, but this is epistemic. So we are, we are knowing the tree. But uh, philosophy is more. It's starting from a quite new point of view that is called by him the epistemological point of view. That is not watching the tree and thinking the tree. That is watching you are watching the tree and thinking you are thinking the tree. And that's always what Fichte started his philosophy. Think the wall and now you think the thinking of the wall. And everybody was astonished, what's that? And, and to put it in this, uh, this uh, concept of epistemic and epistemological is a, a quite a good start uh, to understand transcendental philosophy. I always uh, recommend my, my students uh, to start with this difference between knowing the tree and knowing the knowing. And uh, everybody knows exactly that is a difference. And before that, uh, you always thought about things and he never thought about thinking. And that's the difference about what uh, Marek Schemek uh, uh, made his whole monography to, to, as an attempt to understand the, the difference between uh, normal thinking and philosophic, philosophical thinking. The, uh, he was not first to have this concept, but he was f I think he was one of the best to understand the concept as a student, as a young student starting to, to, uh, to study transcendental philosophy. So we need good, um, good explanations and good starters and beginners for, for, to get in the transcendental philosophy. And that is uh, the worth of the book is it's a real good advice to, all, to get in it at all and not to stay outside. So it's a very good help, a very good uh, yeah, Einführung, a very good uh, starting point, clarity, and um, and uh, and uh, a good strategy. He was a strategic thinker. How can I um, advise my students to get into the transcendental uh, standpoint of uh, of viewing? And um, not everybody uh, who studies Kant and Fichte is aware of uh, of the 
of the change of the view. So if you don't, if you are not aware of the change of the view, maybe you, you must misunderstand Kant and Fichte. And if you get good advices to get into this point of view, then you, you be, only then you can begin to understand the real philosophy of Kant and Fichte. So well, that is called transcendental philosophy because it transcendence the normal standpoint of view to a special philosophical standpoint of view that is not outside of the world, but it's outside of the natural thinking.